In today's video, we're talking about grout for your mosaics. More specifically, how to choose the right color. Deciding on a grout color can be overwhelming. We're going to figure it out together. Let's get to it. Welcome back. And if you're new here, my name is Julie. And on this channel, we talk about tips, tricks, tools, adhesives, materials, and specific mosaic projects all to shorten your learning curve when it comes to creating mosaic art. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, please consider subscribing. Grout is readily available at your local hardware store or tile specialty store. And if you don't find the color that you want, you can mix up your own to the specifics of your mosaic. Today's video is for those mosaic projects which will be grouted, whether that's fully grouted or partially grouted. Not all mosaics have to be grouted. Personal preference. Your mosaic work and the grout need to work together. They have a relationship. And oftentimes, deciding on the grout color for your mosaic can be the hardest part of the process. I did a video here on the channel a while back about partially grouting a mosaic. I had put it off for years because I just couldn't commit to a particular color, which is a big part of this. Once I finally did, I grouted it here, but it was years and years that it sat completed, but not grouted. And finally, I picked a color, I committed to it, and I'm so happy with what I chose. If your project is to be grouted, Choosing a color for the grout is as important as your mosaic tile work. No pressure. Just so you know, I still struggle with coming up with the correct grout color from time to time. Although now my go-to is more of a gray than any other color, I still struggle with it. Hopefully I can help you decide or at least narrow down your color choices. We've got a lot to cover, so let's get started. Let me show you what I do. I've got an easy way or method to show you how to pick a color for your grout before you even start your mosaic. To get started, you'll want to head to the hardware store and pick up a grout brochure. These are usually in a rack in the grout and tile aisle. The brochures are free and they detail the colors that that grout manufacturer is manufacturing at that time and what that store is stocking or perhaps has access to. You're going to want to take this brochure home and compare it to your mosaic. See what colors interest you, speak to you, speak to your mosaic. You don't have to pick a particular color just yet. Just come up with a few choices. Once you've got some grout color choices, take your brochure to your local craft store and go to the paper aisle. This is where you'll find all of those loose sheets of paper for scrapbooking and cardstock. You want to look for sheets of paper which very closely match the potential grout colors you've chosen. These sheets are usually less than a dollar each. Take them home and place your tessera on top. This exercise can help you find your definite grout color or at least narrow down the color or shade of grout that you would like. But what if you have no clue what grout color you even want? If the previous exercise didn't help you narrow down and come up with some color choices or the color choice, then we need to dive a little deeper and look at the relationship between your mosaic and grout. There are some questions that you need to ask of yourself. Are you looking for high contrast or are you looking for more complementary? So do you want things to blend in or do you want things to scream lights on Broadway? Darker colors call attention to your grout line if they're paired up with lighter colored mosaic work. Darker grout enhances your mosaic it can look almost like an outline. If you have dark grout 
and lighter colored mosaic work, which involves many smaller pieces of tesserae, the grout will be very prominent. And you can even overshadow your artwork, but sometimes this may be the look you're going for. You're looking for a grout to make a big impact in your mosaic. It's totally subjective. Lighter grout colors are more complementary and blend with lighter colored mosaic work. If you have a mosaic with multiple colors, then you could pick a contrasting neutral grout color, like beige or khaki or tan. This would take the pressure off of having to pull a color for the grout that already exists in the mosaic work. If you want your grout lines to be less noticeable, then choose a grout color that matches your mosaic. Adding a grout color that's not featured in your mosaic is an easy way to add another color to your mosaic. If your mosaic relies on pattern and texture, then go with a matching grout color, allowing the mosaic design to get all of the attention. If you're still not sure, you could pick a color that's prominent in your mosaic, one that's used the most. If you go this route for the grout, you'll want to pick one shade under the prominent color in your mosaic so that your mosaic work still shows up and there's still enough contrast. When you think about contrast, there are varying degrees. A light colored mosaic with a darker grout exhibits high contrast. Whereas the same light colored mosaic paired with a medium colored grout in the same color family is still contrasting, but not as dramatic. You can even partially grout a mosaic, whether that's using the same color for the entire mosaic, like I did here in a previous video, or if you use two different colors of grout in the same mosaic, like I did here on this watermelon flower pot. I do want to take a moment to talk a little bit about white grout, and it's really the only specific color that I will reference in this video. And there are pros and cons to using white grout, and I would recommend if you do want to use white grout that you think long and hard about this decision. Now, I am not anti-white grout. You can look through my shop, you can look through my history of doing mosaic, and you'll see that I've used white grout a lot. But I'm very specific on what I use white grout on. Using white grout in things that are going to get food splashes or be put outside. You just want to think long and hard before you subject your mosaics to that. Soil, mildew, mold, these things can stain items that are put outside, for instance, or sometimes things happen in the bathroom, in the kitchen. So you just want to think long and hard before you settle on white grout. And white grout, although lovely when first grouted, is hard to keep clean. And depending on where your mosaic will be installed, placed, hung, and how it will be used should be taken into account when choosing a grout color. And of course, you also need to keep in mind the colors of the mosaic tesserae used. And like I said, this is especially true if you're making a mosaic which will be placed outdoors or in the garden. Remember, like our moms told us when we were growing up, white shows everything. Soil, mold, mildew will stain white grout, making your mosaic appear dingy and dirty, and you don't want that. Question of the day, let me know down in the comments, do you use the same grout color for all of your mosaic work, or do you like to switch it up from mosaic to mosaic depending on the colors that you're using in your artwork? Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up as it really does help my channel and subscribe if you haven't already. Click the bell notification so you never miss a single upload and let me know in the comments if there's something you'd like me to cover in a future video. I'll see you soon. Bye. A shorty but a goodie. I don't think we made it to a two minute Tuesday but that was that was a good short video. Good stuff. Good stuff in there. Yep.
Yep. Baby! Oh, I have Dave Matthews on my mind. Okay, okay, okay. Nope. I sound like Darth Vader. For a long, long time. No, let me start over. What I should have asked for question of the day is, do you love to grout or do you dread it? I know a lot of people dread it. I used to dread it. Now I don't mind it. It's kind of cool. Like putting on the powder or whatever. It's just the finishing touch. I want to see that thing finished. Yes, in its glory. Yes. Time, 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 time. Okay, let me try that again and say it in a different way. Oh, she's a poet and she didn't even know it. <laughs> Lights on Broadway. Where did I come up with that? Oh boy. If you're looking for more mosaic inspiration, you can check out one of these two videos. Until then, see ya. Okay, and that's a wrap. <laughs>